Good morning, fellow option traders. Today is Friday, June 6, 2014, and welcome to the Daily Scan. Okay, yesterday, uh, the only biggie listed here was the jobs, jobless claims, and uh, uh, the number um, missed by a tad. The consensus was 310 and the actual was 312. So we're, you know, we're still losing 300,000 jobs a week. <laughs> I just can't figure this out. But the um, market shrugs it off and moves on. Today we have the unemployment situation, which is the big report that comes out at 8.30 in the morning. And we'll tell you the... Um, oh, what should I say? The number four that the government puts out that everybody pays homage to even though it's BS so anyway that's coming out at 830 in the morning okay well let's take a look over in Asia we're pretty uh, mixed almost 50 50 oh it is 50 50 <laughs> uh, half up half down and in Europe everybody is bullish looking fairly solidly in some cases but you know a nice bullish start to the day at midday over there and over here it looks like as though we are going to open up just a tad gold is up over 1250 oil is up to 102.69 about gas yesterday I think I hit the low point. I think I paid uh, 369 for it and it was up to 389 uh, last week. So I think I hit the right spot. Not happy about paying 369, but you know, they just make you feel good about these numbers as they increase by having them go up and then pull back halfway and then go up again and pull back halfway and go up again so the cumulative effect is the price is steadily going up but you keep feeling better about it isn't that amazing all right uh yesterday i tried to get in on tlt even though i set my order at the midpoint midpoint it just never executed um, hang on a second here uh, I never was able to get in and it may be because the expiration date that I picked there wasn't a real lot of open interest I did bail on Amazon let's take a look at that chart I did get out of it right away in the morning as I saw it marching upward. So we got out of that one for a small loss, nothing really devastating. Um, look at this candle. <laughs> you think that there was some news in Amazon? Isn't it um, something about a 3D phone, I think, is what I saw. Amazon, Amazon is coming out with a 3D phone now. Okay. Oh, man. Anyway, so we got out of that one. And we did enter Baidu. And we'll take a look at that as we go through the A-plus list. Because it's pretty close to being up at the top. So let's start out by taking a look at Apple. Um, okay, here it is. We have uh, almost a... One to one risk reward, risk 511, 512, reward 488. And that is due to expire today. So we're just kind of like keeping our legs crossed on this one, and it looks like as though it's going to open with a slight gap up from the close. <clears throat> so this one uh, probably is going to work out for us. And therefore, we would be waiting for the next target down here. And you can see 
oops, you can see that uh, they move pretty fast now, don't they? Uh, this is one, two, three, four days, and this is one, two, three days. And maybe going into a fourth day here. So that's the beauty of this system is uh, you're just not in for very long and you can stay in as long as you want. Uh, just remember you have to take a look occasionally at the width of these uh, cycles on the stochastic in days. The other thing I wanted to tell you is, uh, and I feel really stupid about this, is uh, this moving average right here is not a 50 EMA, it is a 20 EMA. Uh, so I've been misleading you and myself for quite a while here. Uh, talking about that particular moving average. I know a lot of times I just call it the EMA, but it's actually a 20 and this one's a 50. So that's why it reacts so much faster. So now uh, I did upload a new studies sheet so that you can load this study in. The only thing that you'll have to do is you'll have to change it two dashes and pick whatever line width that you want but the colors which is uh, what everybody seems to want is definitely in there so you'll have to change the style to whatever you want if you want dashes you can do that and if you I use the line width of two and I shut off all this other stuff like bubbles and titles plot names and all that kind of stuff um, just uh, don't look at it so why display it I'm not interested in it just interested in what it's doing here so that's that and you can see the colors are dynamically set and that is in the code itself all right so I apologize for that I will not forget that this is a 20 from now on <laughs> I promise. Anyway, uh, yeah, Apple looks like it's going to open up, and that's a good thing. Uh, Amazon. Here is the 3D phone, I guess. I did get out of this early. So now I would imagine we're going to get a trend change because it looks like as though the 50 is ready to roll over anyway. And the 20's already done its thing for the uh, for a while here. So I tried to play this the 50 on this, and it just didn't work out. And that's the way it is sometimes. Uh, so you have to keep an eye on these and get out when it tells you to get out. And here we have um, a green color change on the stochastic and the MACD so we didn't lose too much on this now uh, what do we think might be happening for today I don't know I'm not sure if it's going to continue or not could this be a day trade mm, could be a day trade at a 50 Delta but I'm not going to be doing any, I don't think I'm going to be doing any day trades today. We have Boeing, which will be expiring today. We already bought back our shorts on this, so we're not really worried about this. We have, um, well, this looks like as though we might be able to do another 20 Delta trade on this, because we did get a little bit of a flag pattern here. I guess you could call this a bullish flag pattern. Uh, but I'd like to see another day or two pullback on this before I would jump in. So this is already higher than um, this high on the flag, the top of the flag pole. And the flag just isn't big enough, so I'd like to see this come down a little bit closer down here for me to enter in on a 20 delta on Boeing. So I'm going to take a pass on it for right now. It looks like it may open down a tad today. 
All right, Baidu. Here we have a 20 Delta that I entered yesterday on Baidu. Um, and uh, this is a 20 Delta target down here. 20 Delta trade at 157.50. And that's due to expire the week after normal monthly expiration. So we got one, two, three weeks on that. That's the max I would ever go out. I did not like the strikes here on this day because I don't know why they do this. I just can't figure this out. So they have $5 spreads here on the normal weeklies or on the normal monthly expiration. And on the weeklies, they have $2.50 strike spreads. So I don't know why they do that. Um, maybe just people that trade weeklies trade a little bit differently. So they give them closer strike spreads, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't know why. So that's how we entered on that one. Let's over to Celgene. Do the risk profile here. Celgene, we're waiting for it to come down and give us an entry. Chipotle. Same story. Costco. Costco, we were looking to do a air call yesterday and at a 20 delta. Didn't work out. I think we can get rid of this stuff, right? That's a little bit far back. All right, so um, did not work out. I think we're going to have to be looking for maybe a 50 delta down here now that we have both moving averages a green. So we'll change this back over to white. And wait for it to come down and hit our target. So we have to let that one sit in the crock pot a while longer. CVX sold the short on it. And uh, our next opportunity is waiting to present itself. We can move that over to there. All right, let's take a look at the Dow. So in the world of, of uh, candles and chart patterns and things like that we have what was forming here as a double top and that is usually a area of well is it going to is we going to have a major pullback correction or is it going to break through and we're going to have a major move up i would say that it broke through very solidly yesterday and we're going to be having we will be witnessing probably a major move upward. Uh, Igor, waiting for it to come down to our target. FedEx, uh, it is here. We're still in, and let's see, we are at setup here. We're still waiting for the hook. And how much longer will we wait? Well, we'll wait uh, as long as we don't get any real, you know, green and red squiggles in here. Uh, we'll just wait. We have uh, earnings the week after next, so we have some time yet to make a play on FedEx. Now, if we get a hook today, what am I going to do? Well, you know, me and Friday's doing uh, one to one risk reward 50 delta trades. Don't like doing them because a lot of things can happen on a weekend. So I would wait. If it makes a green hook today, then it will be an alertable situation on Monday. So we'll just be patient. F5 networks. All right, we have an expiration. Out here at the normal monthly, this is a 20 delta trade. Um, tad bit nervous on this particular one. We have a double green yesterday. I may exit this today. 
So I made a note with a question mark on whether I would exit today or not. Gold. Uh, let's see here. Gold. Okay, gold is creeping up. That's a good sign. Um, this would have been a good trade down here. Uh, even though, and the reason why I would call this a good trade is because it can't go much lower than this and make any sense to me. But using the rules and the indicators, it would be a bad trade because we are in a downtrend. Everything is telling us it's in a downtrend. So we're looking for a 20 delta trade up here. And we'll see what happens when it gets up there. Google. Let's see here. Okay, Google is in an uptrend, downtrend. What the heck is Google doing? We don't know. But we have a target set here because our 50 is telling us that we are in a downtrend, but I have a feeling that we are in a new uptrend. So I'm not exactly sure what to do about this at this point. So we're just going to wait. If I'm not sure, then we wait. Okay, LinkedIn is um, giving me a little bit of heartache here. Um, just going to keep a very close eye on it today. We have no indication of where it might be going at the open, so we'll see what happens there. We might take some lumps on that one. 3M never hit our target down here. Never really gave us a flag, a bull flag on the candles or the pattern, so nothing going yet there. NDX new high on NDX. Um, second day in a row and not giving us an, any opportunity here Netflix uh, not giving us an opportunity to jump in on that at this time Priceline remember we're looking for kind of high probabilities okay Priceline is uh, might be lining up here again for a 20 delta so we'll be throwing it on our 20 delta list for today and that would be in a uh, bull put type of a spread on that Russell we're not in on anything there powerful looking can candle yesterday wouldn't you say so uh, we had a little bit of indecision here so we're going to just move this down and we're going to say that we are in a 20 delta uptrend based on the 20 EMA and the 50 SMA. We're still in a downtrend, but it looks like it's going to flip. SPX. Same story there. Jeez, all these new highs. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. So we need to wait a while on that one. TLT, I mentioned, uh, wouldn't let me get in on it yesterday. Very disappointing because I like trading this particular product just because it's been fairly consistent and I've been fairly successful. So that may have been a missed opportunity. Although, you know, let me go back here. Uh, looks like we're going to gap up today. Um, I think it's still not too late to get on TLT. I won't put an alert on it, but I am going to add it to my 20 Delta list. And we'll try again. Probably going to have to pick maybe... Here's uh, my order that didn't go through. I had it set. Midpoint was 18 cents. This is June 4 expiration. Let's take a look at June 4. And we are at... Our short was at 109.50. So if we go to 109.50 here, we can see that there's only um, 
28 contracts open on that one. At 110, at the even dollar marks, there's more contracts. So maybe if I pop for something, maybe in the 110, let's see what it is right now. Uh, it's only 13 cents, but let's go to uh, 109 here. That's 24 cents. That may be one that I might pop for today. So that's June 4 expiration, and we're at shorts at 110, and our long is at 109. We picked a dollar spread. That's 24 cents. That's very close to like four to one and by the time it opens and starts trading and stuff like that it might be down closer to 20 cents which gets us right at the five to one risk reward mark if we take a look at this I like this okay so we're risking uh, 70, well actually we're risking 100, this is the way I calculate it. I use the full $100 and say I'm getting $24 back, so that's 5 to 1. If I want to split hairs and really use just only what is at risk on the 20 deltas, it would be closer to 4 to 1. Okay, so uh, let's move on. The Tesla only got two more to go. Uh, Tesla was on, was it not on my list yesterday? It should have been on there for a 20 delta. So I'm going to be looking at a 20 delta still yet today on Tesla. Looks like as though it's going to open up. So I might just do a 20 delta. Let's take a look. Now look at these things here. Let's look at normal June. And a 20 delta would put us uh, probably at like 195. 195 is down here. Could probably hack that for another two weeks. So it's going on my 20 delta list. There's a lot of reasons that I use for picking a 20 delta versus the normal 50. And that is momentum. When you have uh, conflicting moving averages there might be a lot of momentum, but you just don't really have confirmation that it's going to go in one direction or the other at that point. So let's just be safe and pick a 20 delta. It's only two weeks. That should work out for us. And last but not least is Visa. We were looking at a 20 delta yesterday. I'm not sure if I had... No, I didn't have anything that I was trying to get it on. I just kind of took a pass on Visa. Um, just because of the, the way the price was just, it wasn't doing anything. It kind of took a big dip at the open, and it just wasn't doing anything the rest of the day, and that's not showing me that, it's not convincing me that it's moving in one direction or the other. But it's back on the 20 Delta list again for today. So back uh, earlier this year and the end of last year when I was uh, testing out the system and initially launched it we were in some pretty strong uptrends and you can tell that you know, just by looking at the video uh, for CSS v2 and uh, the videos you know for like January I guess you could say uh, you could see that things were in a strong uptrend and then around February Everything started, uh, well, not falling apart, but let's uh, take a look here. Just uh, doing some changes here, like after the January expiration, we had a huge pullback in February and we lost a lot of money trading in February. Uh, and then it just kind of picked up and then we had a big pullback again. So when I was testing the system out, was in this time period here, and geez, it was working out pretty darn well with the 50 deltas. But now we have a little bit of a, you know, we ran into some shaky periods, thus uh, going for some more 20 delta trades, a lot of consolidation, 
during uh, April and the first part of May. And now it looks like as though we are on a wild tear here to the upside. So, um, there's probably a lot of things you could just close your eyes and throw a dart at one of them. You know, certain lists, or at least the SPX and the Russell, possibly, and just jump in on a 50 Delta and just be done with it. Get in early in the morning and uh, ride it for the day and see what happens, like today. I mean, you could do that. So it's a it's a day trade. If you have more than twenty five thousand dollars in your account, you can day trade as much as you want. If you have less than that, I think you can only do three in any five day period or five in any one week. I don't know. I forget what it is. But you might want to consider uh, just tacking in here, you know, just saying, hey, you know what, I'm going for it. So, you can do that. You can just uh, buy a call with the 50 Delta, not even bother doing a spread. You can do that too. All sorts of different ways that you can play this market, and it's moving big. So we'll see what the unemployment report, or the employment situation report from the government looks like today. Alright, so it's Friday. I hope everybody enjoys their weekend. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and happy trading.